My goal is for us to get to the point where the operation of these major assets are so simple that we can actually operate them by a tablet. Hi, you're watching 5 by 5 I'm Rachel Gregory. Today we're talking automation within oil and gas operations with CEO Vicki Knott of Crux OCM. Vicki, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Vicki, your organization, Crux OCM, is striving towards automation for specific oil and gas operations. It is very forward thinking and comes with many benefits for companies looking to adopt this into their own organizations. So what is the big sell of automation within the industry and how is Crux OCM helping clients to achieve this? Well, what we're working to do is um, automate how control room operators execute procedures, checklists, and rules of thumb for major energy infrastructure. So on a, a major pipeline, it might take three hours and hundreds to a thousand commands to get the asset up and running. We're able to decrease that to a single on button and then therefore decrease the time to get those assets up to rate. So if you can increase the utilization of assets, then obviously you're increasing the efficiency or the profitability of the asset. So more throughput without building more infrastructure. You are increasing the asset integrity by decreasing pressure cycling. So you're leveling out how these op assets operate. You're decreasing the human interaction with the asset. So from a human fatigue or a human factors incident perspective, you're decreasing the probability that people can mess things up. So <laughs> that's really the, the, what, the problem here that we're, we're working hard to solve. With automation also comes the question of job roles. You've worked in control rooms before, so you know the value of automating. But how do you also see this impacting job roles within the industry if companies were to adopt this? Really, the goal of automation is to take away re like repetitive, boring tasks. A seasoned control room operator could probably start up that pipeline in their sleep, but then that that leads to complacency, which could lead to issues, right? So let's take away those really boring, monotonous tasks and leave those people who are very, very good at their jobs towards figuring out new ways to get even more, um, make those assets even more efficient. How are your products helping companies with the push to reach global climate targets? Increasing the utilization of your existing assets is an efficiency play and efficiency is green. So rather than building a new pipeline, if you can increase the utilization of your pipeline from 85% to 90%, that is a green initiative. We currently just uh, started rolling out a product line for power optimization on transmission pipelines, reducing the power required to move your product, your oil products at max rate is of course also uh, uh, decreasing emissions. With that, what's the future for Crux OCM? Do you see yourselves branching into other industries outside of oil and gas? Where the industry needs to get, and this is a bit of a mind bend for a few folks, but like, why can we run our lives on our phone yet we can't run energy infrastructure on our phone? So my goal is for us to get to the point where the operation of these major assets are so simple that we can actually operate them via tablets. So I see control rooms becoming obsolete. That's absolutely where this industry, as well as other industries, such as utilities um, that are control room centric, um, need, to, need to get to. What do you think we are missing on the energy transition and what needs to happen in order to solve this gap? Global energy demand is continually increasing and yet investment into oil and gas projects is decreasing. There's, there's a transition period here where we need to make sure we're getting the absolute most out of our existing assets to be able to combat energy poverty and facilitate that transition because it isn't gonna happen overnight. So I think what we're missing is that that actual plan between where we are and where we're going. Thank you so much for um, you know enlightening us to automation and where you see this taking the industry. It was so amazing to chat with you, Vicki. Great, thanks so much for having me.